Microsoft Word is a word processing program that is used to create documents, letters, and text-based content. It is important because it allows users to create professional documents, collaborate with others, and format documents to meet specific guidelines. So in this video, we are going to learn about Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is to launch our Microsoft Word. We'll go to the taskbar, we'll go to here, and then I'll click on the word icon. So there are many templates that you can use uh, to create your document. So for the purpose of this video, I'll click the blank document. So I'll let me just maximize it like this. So here is the Microsoft Word page that we'll be writing on. So here, if you come at the top here, these are tabs. There is the home tab, the insert tab. All these are tabs that you'll be using to format, to insert things in your web page. So let's just say you have typed part of your chapter one here. So maybe you want to format the document. You go on home tab here. Uh, under the home tab, you get the font type. This is the font type you highlight here. When you highlight your text in your document, in your page, you come here. When you click here, you select the font type that you want. I want Times New Roman. And then you can come here as well. And you choose the font size that you want. Let me just put on 14. And you can select the color of the text that you would want to be writing your text in. If I put in red like this. So here you're just formatting your document. You can even change the space size. Maybe you're writing a research paper and in, you have been given specifics. They want Times Roman. They want 12 as the font size. They also want spacing uh, 1.5. So you come here again. It's under home tab and you click on 1.5. As you can see, the spacing of the paragraphs has increased. And you can even come also uh, for the headings. You can come highlight here and you can center it here. Or you can go to these headings and you can put a heading and you can send again like this. You can also bold your text. You can go here and you bold your text or you want to italize the text or you even want to underline your text so that's how you use the home tab so after you have formatted your document you want to put in some pictures you go on insert then this all comes out you can insert a cover page you can insert a blank page you can insert page breaks so in this uh, document let's insert a table let's go here and let's insert a table we'll choose the number of rows and the number of columns that we want. So I have clicked, I have highlighted the number of columns. I want three by four. So click, as you can see, there is, we have inserted a table. We just write table one like this. So uh, the next thing, let's go back to insert. The next thing, maybe you want to put a picture in your document. You go here where it's written a picture on this arrow, on the drop down arrow here. You click, you can browse the picture on the internet or you can take from the file. I'll click picture from file and then I'll select. Let me just take my picture, my thumbnail picture here like this and I'll say insert. As you can see, the picture has been inserted. If you click on the picture, it will take you to another tab, which is picture format on picture format. You can remove the background. If you click on here, the background that was there can be removed. If you go back to a picture format like this, you can change the color. You can select from all these colors. You can select which one you like. Let's discard the changes that we had made. So let's go back to insert. So let's click on the picture. Like this, we are back in picture format. 
if you want to put borders on your picture you can click here if you want to put it in a circle like this you can put it uh, as you can see it has gone to the other page which means our picture is a little bit bigger so if you want to reduce the size of the picture what you do is click on the picture and you drag like this and it goes back to where you want the picture to be so this is how you uh, you insert a picture and how you can change or format the picture in word the next thing would be to go on maybe let's say review tab here on review tab mainly you are looking at the changes of your text or you're looking at how you can enhance your text the most important thing in review tab is spelling or grammar so you can check spellings in your document you can just click and check if you have got a spelling error for me in this document saying spelling and grammar check is complete so there was nothing that was found wrong in this document so let's say you're finished working on your document let's say you just want to make the document look good so you go on layout here you can increase your margins like this you can click on margins if you need narrow margins you can click on that if you need moderate ones you can click on that you can even go on orientation here right now it's in portrait orientation uh, this is the layout of your text so you can click here to make it landscape or let's just put it back to portrait like this so you can change the size of the page if you click on a5 it's an a5 now you can go back to a4 like this you can put it back to a4 like this so you can also go on columns you can add columns right now it's on one you can select two and as you can see there are two columns now in our um document they are now the document is laid in two columns you can go back and you can put three columns as you can see there are three columns now in our document so on insert also you can go on page number you can number your pages so you click on page number it will bring a dialog box like this you click where you want to put your page number i'll click on bottom of the page and i'll click on center of the page and i'll click ok and if you go you can see now the pages are there so this is basically how you can use microsoft word for beginners so now you're finished working on your document and you want to submit it but before you submit it you have to name it as you can see it's document one but you have to name it so you go on file and you say you click on savers let's just say chapter one first draft so save it you can save it anywhere you want i want to save it on my desktop so I'll click there and i'll say save so it, you have saved it so now if you are adding something to this document you need to keep on saving so that you won't lose your data if uh, electricity goes without you saving you lose your data so you need to keep on saving so what you do you come at the top of the tabs here you can come and click this icon and it will save automatically you keep on clicking on that icon and it will save so that's it guys this is how microsoft word works if you find this video helpful please like it share it and i'll see you in the next video